got everything packed up to head up to the property. I had to uh, get a little work done this morning and take care of a few things around the camper. But I finally got the car loaded and I'm gonna go head up there. I'm basically just gonna get the shipping container organized today. But I might be able to get a couple more things done like play around with the water system. So I'm gonna head up there now. Weather's pretty decent. It's like 86 right now and got a decent breeze. So that'll feel nice in the shade. Well, one thing I can tell you is that half hour drive up to the property is so much better than the hour and a half that we were doing. Really pretty drive, you just get to kind of go by the river and then uh, up through the mountains. So that part's been really cool. Ooh, that's a big old wasp or something that just landed on my hand. All right, I am probably gonna make some food, hang out in the shade for a bit because it's already warm get the container kind of cooled off and aired out and then i'll start working on that after lunch um yeah not too much not too much to do today just get a few things organized not too exciting on the list of things i uh forgot this morning was keys to those vehicles i need to get into those to like get water out of the expedition we got all of our water in there right now and then the escape, I've got a few things I don't want to move around. So I forgot keys, uh, forgot paper towels, a spatula for cooking with, so I'm down to plastic utensils, I've already broken one spoon. Um, what else did I forget today? Well, so far that's, that's what I've missed. Uh, right up here was great though. Um, yeah, it was, it's really pretty, so I, I I like the ride up here a lot better than the coming from Helena just because you got to go through kind of some vast open areas and just a lot of highway. So this was uh, just kind of side streets and going through a couple little cities. I was finishing up some work and uh, kicking off a video render and a pine cone decided to hit my laptop. I don't know if this is the best place to be doing this, but I can't really do it in the car because it's too hot. So uh, I got the EcoFlow set up and it's uh, charging what I need to charge. And I'm gonna go work on uh, organizing the shipping container. So that's a bit of a disaster right now, but we'll get it cleaned up. stuff out of here I am slowly trying to get all the non gas things out um, I'm a little worried about where to put all of our fuel related things because I've got a box of fuel over there I've got a ton of gas tanks right there and various gas appliances snowblower lawnmower pressure washer um, it's it gets really hot in this container but I talked to the fire department they said it's better off in here because fumes were okay as long as it doesn't have a spark. Um, they said not to put an exhaust fan in because that would be a spark. So that's very good information. I was I was thinking, oh, put an exhaust fan in and then you'll obviously have uh, a lot better ventilation. And there's already a bunch of these holes cut in the ceiling. And I don't know if that's standard or not, but I, I really like it. Um, so if I just put an exhaust fan on the side of this, once we get all the gas stuff out and stored in something else, uh, I'd feel a lot better. But until then, we're gonna keep our gas stuff in here. I'm just gonna move it closer to the door because all of it has wheels on it so I can get in and out a lot easier. Put all the bins and stuff and camping supplies towards the back. Um, we'll see how well that plays out for me though. I gotta get, my, get a bunch of shelf.
Alright, I just got done battling with the air mattress for about 15 minutes. Um, it's looking a lot better in here, so I'm, I'm very happy. I'm just going to kind of get buttoned up. i got to get back to a case where we're going to go have a little dinner day tonight in Great Falls and explore that town a little bit. We uh, really like Kroger brand grocery stores. They just seem to be some of the best in this area. And there wasn't any in Helena, so we are really happy that Great Falls has uh, one. It's a little small, but it's it's still got the brand of stuff that we're looking for. And Casey loves their brand of sausage and hash browns and a couple other things. I think they're the coffee creamer or something. So um, we're, we're excited to go. <laughs> excited to go to the grocery store. That's, that's how you know you're old. Alright, well it looks a whole lot better in here. I'm gonna go organize the trailer real quick and then get on the road. If you would like to see this zoomed in a little bit closer, share this video with someone so I can buy a camera with some zoom. It's pretty cool. Okay, so there's a there's a deer back where we're camped, and then there's bighorn sheep right at the entrance of this place. And we've seen like a dozen of them down by this uh, Story Rock place or Tower Rock place. I can't remember what the name of it is. But yeah, it's this place is incredible. This uh, already has a ton of wildlife. I think you're going to the left, baby. <laughs> so this is our setup today. We've got our desk kind of set up over here. I've commandeered a corner of Casey's desk which I'm sure she's not too thrilled about and uh, we are cooking lunch over here near the breakfast station thank you baby I need to clean up my various bits of trash from our two meals so far so we've got uh, potatoes broccoli and chicken cooking on the Traeger and this is all powered by the EcoFlow there's no generator running which uh, I am absolutely thrilled about. I hate listening to generators. I don't mind having to use them occasionally, but if I can run off of battery power, then that's pretty cool. Um, I need to double check and see how many watts we're pulling, because when this was starting, which is typically whenever it's uh, like pulling the most power because it has a little uh, igniter, um, that's uh, it was like pulling 300 watts, so it wasn't a ton. Um, I'm pretty happy, so. In about a half hour, we'll have some chicken and some vegetables and finish up our work this afternoon and then start building some shelves. I look like Casper the Friendly Ghost. You did when you were over there, but you look fine now. Oh my 
goodness. It's like five star dining right here. A little bad. So, uh, I got these shelves from Home Depot yesterday, paid $360 a piece for these things, struggled to load them in my car and get them home the hour drive, uh, struggled to get them up to the property and now into the shipping container, and uh, struggled to get it set up inside the shipping container. And that's when I figured out that this is not straight. And not only is that one not, the other side's bent too. This is why I buy, don't, don't buy stuff from Home Depot. Like, I know better. Like, don't buy stuff. And I wanted to buy them from Costco. Like, straight up, wanted to buy it from Costco. Costco was out. I should knew I should have bought these a long time ago. So now I get to take one of these back to Home Depot. I'm hoping I'll, I'll probably buy the second one or buy two more if the second one is still somewhat intact, but looking at the way that that box is messed up, it may not be. Oh, that is so annoying. It is uh, getting a little warm. I got the bent shelf loaded into the back of the truck. I'm okay with keeping it because I can probably fix it, but I want them to at least give me like half my money back because that's severely bent. Um, I'm gonna try and set this other one. It looks like it's okay as far as I can tell. Like it doesn't look like it's anything like that was. So, I'll uh, get this one set up. I just need to take a break for a minute because it is warm. I'm a little tired, and these shelves are so heavy. This has got to be like two to four hundred pounds. I can't lift up the whole thing. You need to hang up the solar light. Yeah, we can do that. If you want to go get this set up, you can. Today is uh, more organization stuff. So we brought, we pretty much emptied out a big portion of the trailer so that we can have a bit more climate controlled storage inside the camper and uh, just have a little bit more room in there. It's been super tight. So uh, now that that's all opened up, that's made a huge difference. And so we're gonna take all the couches that are in the back of the truck and Put them in the shipping container um, i need to get the storage built out for the shipping container first though and then i'll move the couches in there uh i just got done with work and case gonna head up here in a little bit whenever her shift is over the objective for today 
is to get basically shelving set up along the right side of this. So we should have two shelves set up over there and then another one behind the left side over here. Um, these are like husky, heavy duty, uh, five tier shelves from one of the big box stores. Um, so far I'm happy with them. Like one of the boxes we got was damaged, but uh, they gave it, they gave me a $200 discount. So I'm like, it's all right, I'll bend it out. So um, the nice thing about these is that there's uh, two sets of hooks on each vertical rail. So you can use one vertical rail for uh, two sets of shelves. And if you buy the five tier ones and you don't actually want to put five shelves on it, now you've got a couple left over to put on these other shelves. So this will probably make a lot more sense to more people whenever I actually have them set up. So I'm going to shut up and get some work done. Well, I didn't drop too much. Okay, time to uh, set up the shelf. Mm -hmm. The nice thing is about this EcoFlow, is I can power this fan from just about anywhere, including the back of the container. Not sure how apparent this is on the camera but that section right there is bent so i'm going to try and do is put on the ground and step right there see if i can get the flex out at all So the cool part about these shelves is that they have two vertical slots running on these vertical frames. So you can buy three sets of shelving and actually get four shelves, but you lose, instead of putting five tiers of shelving on here, I'm gonna put, or five tiers of shelving on one of these, I'm shifting two of those tiers off of this one, onto this one, and two of the tiers off of this one, onto that one. And so I'm going to put these in the corner and this will make a little bit more sense of them.
it's been a good day, good weather, not too hot. And I got everything put in storage that I need to. Everything's very organized now, so that's a huge stress relief. And it is time for me to go take a shower and eat some dinner. So I am gonna head home, half hour drive over to the campground, and then, uh, I don't know, I might be back up here tomorrow. We'll see, I gotta bring some the cushions uh, from the couches, those are just the bases. Sounds like somebody's coming up the road. Yeah, that's about it. It's been a good day. Thanks for following along, folks. Thank you.